Let's go for a drive. Piggy, I have a great idea. Let's go for a drive. That sounds fun. Drive, drive, drivey drive, drive. <gasps> Wait, if we are going on a drive, we need a plan. A plan? First, we need a map. I have a map. Get that map. You cannot go for a drive without a map. I have the map. Drive, drive, drivey drive, drive. Map, map, mappy map, map. Wait, it might be sunny while we drive. We need sunglasses. Do you have sunglasses? Piggy has sunglasses. Get those sunglasses. Bringing sunglasses on a drive is smart planning. I have the sunglasses. Drive, drive, drivey drive, drive. Sunglasses, sunglasses, sunny sunglasses. Wait. It might rain while we drive. What do you think they need? We need umbrellas. I have umbrellas. Get those umbrellas. Make a plan and stick to it. That's what I always say. I have the umbrellas. Drive, 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 drive. Umbrellas, umbrellas, umbrella, umbrellas. Wait. We have so much stuff to pack. We need bags. Why do you think that they need bags to put all their stuff into? I have bags. Get those bags. You cannot go wrong with a good plan. Oof. I have the bags. Drive, 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 drive. Bags, bags, baggy bag, bags. There will be a lot of driving on our drive. We need a car. Did they forget a car? I said, we need a car. Um, do you have a car, Piggy? No. I am a pig. A pig with a car would be silly. Um, do you have a car? I do not have a car. Oh no. We have everything we need for our drive. Except a car. Our plans are ruined. What are we gonna do now? We could play pirate. Who needs plans when you have a pig for a pal? Arr. The end. Our next book is called I Don't Like to Eat Ants. I don't like to eat ants. 
don't like to eat ants, said Ant Eater One. They don't taste very good. They tickle my tongue. What's wrong with you, said Ant Eater Two. Eating ants is what we do. Well, not anymore, the first one said. I'd like some chocolate cake instead. Do you like chocolate cake? Just like Ant Eater One. What do you think Ant Eater Two is going to say? Chocolate cake, for goodness sake. You'll give yourself a tummy ache, the second one said as his face turned red and he raised his paws and he rubbed his head. I don't care, said number one. Eating ants is just no fun. I mean, how many ants can one ant eater eat? They're squishy and they're sticky. And they're not very sweet. I just can't believe this said number two. Ants are delicious and so good for you. Have you ever eaten an ant? Are they yummy? You eat them then, said Ant Eater One. I'm going to eat the cinnamon bun. Oh, yeah, cinnamon buns are delicious. And if I'm still hungry, he said with a smile, I'll nibble this grilled cheese sandwich a while. The second one stared in disbelief. You know that ant eaters don't have teeth. So how do you think you're going to chew? A cinnamon bun, said Ant Eater too. Number one replied, there's nothing to it. I'll cut it into bits and chew it. Or I'll make a nice salad from flowers and plants. Something, anything other than ants. The second one huffed and turned his head. He pointed to his snout and said, why is it then do you suppose? An anteater has such a very long nose. Why do you think an anteater has a long nose? I'm gonna find out. For sniffing all the pretty flowers and separating sweets from sours? No for burrowing down into hard to reach places and finding ants in their hiding spaces. Bah, no more ants for me, my friend. My ant eating days have come to an end. I won't, I shan't, I simply can't eat even so much as one more little ant. Why then? You won't be an ant eater at all. You'll be a chocolate cake eater, a cinnamon bun eater, a grilled cheese and salad you made from a plant eater. What's in a name, said Ant Eater One. Let's try some new things. Let's go have fun. I happen to know a good restaurant. I'll buy you some lunch, whatever you want. I want ants. And so off they went to Anteater Threes, where they sat at a table, enjoying the breeze. I'll have the peanut butter and jelly, said Anteater One as he rubbed his belly. Just a bowl full of ants for me, said Anteater Two to Anteater Three. I'm sorry, but we're all out of ants today. Can I interest you in a PB&J? Ugh, peanut butter and jelly. Why did you make me come to this deli? I'm an ant eater. That's all I eat, don't you see? No peanut butter and jelly for me. Oh, come now, my friend, give it a chance. There's more to find dining than just eating ants. Okay, I give up, enough already. Bring me peanut butter and jelly. I'll take one tiny bite of the sandwich, all right? But I'm already losing my appetite. Ant Eater One took a sip of his drink and he said to his friend, well, what do you think? Mm -hmm. Yum, 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 said Ant Eater Two as he ate the last crumb. Well, my friend, now what do you say? 
Would you like another PB&J? Said Aunt Number One with a wink and a grin as he licked his peanut butter from under his chin. Yes, yes, another one, please, said Aunt Eater Two to Aunt Eater Three. I could eat two or three or even four more. Why didn't you tell me about this before? I think I might have mentioned it to you, said Aunt Eater One to Aunt Eater Two. But I'm glad you tried something other than ants. You never know what you'll like till you give it a chance. Yes, you're right, number two replied, but it would be even better with ants on the side. The end. Well, thanks for reading with me today.